everybody good morning afternoon and evening may almighty god bless you in jesus mighty name amen our topic today is how to trust god even in difficult times how to trust god even in difficult times amen let us pray heavenly father we thank you, Jehovah, for there is none like thee. We thank thee for your love and kindness towards us. Come and bless us. As your children will listen to this video, may it go into their heart. Anybody that is worried over anything, Jehovah, please protect them. Take care of them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Life is not predictable. There are ups and downs along the way. Many of us want to trust God. When times are good, it can feel easier. But when times feel difficult, it is even more important to trust God. God is unchanging character, can give us a firm foundation when things feel unsteady and uncertain. Life can be going along smoothly for a season, your job is satisfying. Your friends and family are enjoyable. Your goals, finances, health, and outlook seems bright. Then, all of a sudden, life throws a curveball. Someone you know gets sick. You lose your job. A friend or family member betrays you. The things you felt secure in all of a sudden feel shaky and uncertain. How do you trust that God is good in these circumstances? How do you trust Him when you do not understand what is happening? When you cannot see a, re a resolution? There are valid questions. And God wants to help you navigate them. What does it mean to trust God? This is the question some people ask. To trust is to believe in the reliable truth ability or strength of something so when it comes to trusting god that means believing in his reliable word his word his ability and his strength the bible says that god cannot lie that he always keeps his promises that he always loves and has good in store for you and me Trusting in him means believing what he says about himself, about the world, and about you. It's true. Trusting God is more than a feeling. It's a choice to have faith in what he says when your feelings or circumstances will have you believe something different. Your feelings and circumstances matter and are very much worth paying attention to. God cares about them both. But those things alone are not reliable enough to base your life on. They can change at any moment, even an instant. God, on the other hand, does not change. Yes, He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And therefore, is worthy of your trust. Trusting God is not about ignoring your feelings or reality. It is not pretending that everything is okay. When isn't? Trusting God is living a life of belief in the obedience to God even when it is difficult. Now that you know what it means to trust God, how exactly can you do that in your everyday life? If you trust someone, you feel comfortable being honest with them about anything. God is much more reliable than even your most trustworthy friend. When things feel difficult, he doesn't ask you to keep those feelings to yourself. Okay? Because God loves you. He loves all of us. You can show your trust in him by talking about all your feelings and circumstances with him. The good and the bad and the hard. Through prayer. Don't let your emotions rule your life. Bring them to God so He can help you address them. He is not disappointed or frustrated by your struggles, doubts, or pain. He cares about you, and you can trust Him with those things. 
When you trust, you go to God and His word. When life is hard, you also act on obedience, doing what God says in His word, and trust that He will ultimately take care of the rest in trust. You do not look for security in other things. You look to God to hold you securely in difficult circumstances. You won't do this perfectly. Do you understand? But God is kind and patient with you while learning to trust Him. Okay? The book of Mark says, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. He said to them, Stay here and keep watch. Going a little further, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from me. Abba Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Mark chapter 14, 34 to 36. Jesus himself felt overwhelmed by what was before him, and he went straight to his father. He cares for your hearts. He pays attention how comforting it is to know that the God of the universe is also paying attention to you. Knowing that God is for you, He will strengthen your trust in Him during times of hardship and the unknown. Okay? Seek truth in Scripture. Just this is the practical things I do when everywhere is hard. I seek truth in the scripture. Scripture on the, or the Bible is God's word. God knows you, you need somewhere to go when you feel unsure. That place is his word. It is unchanging and completely trustworthy. The Bible records ways God has responded in difficult times. In the past, it reminds you that He is trustworthy, whatever your circumstances may be. Many people in Scripture even reference other parts of Scripture to encourage themselves and those around them. The truth of Scripture frees you from the expectations of earning your salvation. Read John chapter 8 verse 32. May you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.